Welcome my friends to our very first ever gameplay of PS5. Now you're probably wondering why are you starting off with Astro's Playroom, man? Because I wanted to showcase my reaction uh, to experiencing the brand new PS5 DualSense controller for the first time. That includes haptics, the adaptive triggers, and this is a perfect game to showcase all of those brand new features. So I wanted to go through this a little bit. We're gonna do maybe like 15 minutes or so. I don't want to see how long we go. Uh, if you wanted me to see, if you wanted me to do a full let's play of this game, let me know because it is uh, its own kind of platformer game. Um, but we will get to after this video. I think I'm gonna start doing like a first episode excuse me of some other games so we're gonna do let's plays start some let's plays for like spider-man uh we're gonna oh man the haptics are so good i feel them like whizzing by me oh that is really cool all the all the freaking playstation consoles leading up to the ps5 introducing the dual sets of so again i wanted to just kind of like showcase my reaction of like feeling hands-on with the ps5 controller because i've been really excited about this adaptive trigger Yo, that is so crazy! Holy crap! It actually... It actually feels like something is back there preventing me from pushing it down. Because there is. There's like a motor. We talked about this before. It's like really tense. You got to push through it. And there's like a clicking after. Bro, that's nuts! And then, of course, a touchpad. Works smoothly. Motion sensor. This is very similar to PS5. Oh, that's so cool. Hello. Check one, two. Hello. Oh, this is so freaking rad, dude. Man, I can't wait to see how games are going to like, <clears throat> like Black Ops Cold War is going to utilize the adaptive triggers. Here it is. Our brand new PlayStation 5 console. You know what's crazy? This one is showing the disc one because I have the physical edition. But I wonder, if you have the digital edition, it probably shows the digital version of the PlayStation 5. Which is actually very interesting. Dude, that's crazy. Look, as I'm turning it, it's moving. Oh, swipe it up. Okay, that's really cool. So again, we're going to be playing through, like, Miles Morales. We're going to be... Oh, the adaptive... Uh, the uh, haptics feel really good. We're going to be playing through uh, <clears throat> Miles Morales... Uh, Black Ops Cold Wars, uh... Oh. Oh! Oh, that's cool. I'm definitely gonna platinum this game. Okay, so we press square to beat it. And then we got R2. Oh, okay. What's really cool is you can really feel the haptics. The haptics are very impressive, man. Very, very impressive. Wow. This is phenomenal. As all these things are coming up, I can feel... I feel the haptics as if the ground is rumbling beneath me. As these things are coming up, I can feel the vibration. CPU Plaza. So, I assume this is where you go. And as I'm walking... That's the other thing. As I'm walking, I can feel like... Like his hand, his feet. Where do I put this? I can feel like his feet kind of clicking. Tick, 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 tick. As I'm walking around. Like I can feel the ground beneath me subtly moving. Let's go to Cooling Springs. I don't know what's the difference, but let's go here. And, uh, wow, that was really quick. So we can check out the map. As I'm moving here, again, haptics. I'm feeling it. We're sliding down, and it feels like, you know when you slide down something, just kind of like the feel beneath your 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 butt? That's kind of how it felt like. Man, this looks good. It's like super contrasty. Like color colorful, vibrant, whatever the word is. As we collect coins and punch things, I can feel as if coins are like, you know like when you put like coins inside a piggy bank? The way that feels? If you're holding the piggy bank in your hand, that's how this feels. This is incredible. This is absolutely incredible. Like, look at that, a trophy. So if you push the uh, icon, we can see we can view our trophies. It'll bring us straight to our trophies. And then we could, of course, just quick resume. We can see our progress. See, 
for this one. Bot Beach, 16%. We're 16% done the level. Um, and then we can just go back. Back to game. This is really cool. Oh, wait. I got... Oh. Oh, I died. So, as I'm walking through the sand... Oh, do I have to collect all this again? No, that's unfortunate. Uh, as I'm walking through the sand, like, I can feel the texture of the sand. Now I'm walking on wood, and it feels like the vibration changes. It feels like I'm walking on wood, and now it feels like it's more like a sandy texture beneath my feet. Do I have to get this again? I guess. I don't know. Let's grab this. Wow. This is this is phenomenal. This is actually phenomenal how this works. All right, let's see this cuz there's going to be like a blizzard. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you can feel it. Like you you're getting you're pushing against a sandstorm. Like there's like, you know, I I don't know how to explain it. And then that it feels like, oh man. I think there's a spring in here that's gonna test our adaptive triggers. Dude, I love that this is built in. So everybody who gets a PlayStation 5, you're automatically gonna have this game. Which I think is a really cool like little platformer game. Like in and of itself, I know it's supposed to showcase, you know, the capabilities of next gen. But it's a cool game that I plan to play through. Okay, so here's the spring. So we use a touchpad to zip it up, and if that felt like a zipper in my hands. So I gotta lean with the gyro. Ooh. And then the adaptive triggers. Like, it feels like I'm pushing down on a spring. The mixture of the adaptive triggers and the haptic feedbacks together in this scenario actually feels like I'm pushing down on a spring. Like, if you were to take a spring... Sackboy, another game I can't wait to play. If you were to push down on a spring, both the tension and the texture that you would feel, that's how this feels. Like that is that is really impressive. The adaptive triggers, like there's all this tension. Oops. There's all this tension behind the triggers. And again, these triggers are pro programmable from each developer. Oh, I died. They're programmable from each developer. So like, for example, in Call of Duty, you know, honing a rocket launcher versus like an SMG is going to feel different because of these adaptive triggers. And it's so freaking cool. Like, it's legit. It's not just a gimmick. I love this. Oh, I missed some coins over there. I didn't, I didn't realize this is the way I had to go. Oh. Okay. There we go here. I love the spring. And then this is the finish line. All right. Wow. Unbelievable. That was really cool. The springs. Just feeling the springs between the adaptive triggers. Now the adaptive triggers, I'm pushing them now and they feel normal. There's no tension. It's only in certain scenarios, of course. That's really cool. I'm sorry, but this, like I'm freaking out. I don't even know why I'm apologizing. Now, now it feels like I'm pushing against wind. I can feel in the haptics that I'm pushing against wind. Okay, so now I'm in like a... Uh, uh, how many places do I got to go to here? Because there's like four places, so... Okay. I don't want to... I don't want to waste too much time here. Oh, look. A trophy. You know we're going for that platinum. Not not in this video, obviously, but... Eventually. I'm also going to go for that Spider-Man platinum. By the way, any any 100% run, uh, runs that I do for games, like Spider-Man, for example, we're going to do, like, the Let's Play here on YouTube. Oh, No way! That's so cool! I had to blow into the mic! Bro! 
Like this is this is this is insane. This is actually insane. Like what the frig, dude? No! Did I get it? I think I got it. That's phenomenal. I, I can't get enough of that. Oh my goodness. Now we're going back in here. Zip it up. Here we go back with the adaptive triggers. Oh. Oh, I had to ride it. Whoops. Dude, these adaptive triggers are so legit. Ooh. Like, they're so legit. Oh, no. Okay, let's try this one more time. I don't want to spend too much time in this video either. Like I said, maybe 15, 20 minutes. Okay, the adaptive triggers, like, there's, there's tension. This is so cool. Oh, I got the puzzle piece. Nice. Oh. Nice. Oh, crap. Okay, I guess I gotta jump on here first. Oh, no. This is actually harder to control than you guys think. There's a puzzle piece here. Nice. Oh, we gotta go up here. This is crazy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this is nuts. Let's break the beach balls for everybody to party with. Now what? Oh, I'm going up. Wait, do I have to go that way? Dude, the... The... Oh, and I didn't realize the controller was making all these noises of, of the spring. Oh, crap. I'm probably going to have to turn that off. But hopefully, that's not coming through too much in the video. This is so cool. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is actually not an easy platformer. There we go. And now we're going on another lily pad. I can, I just, it's insane to me. Between the adaptive triggers and the haptics, the way things can feel so different. Wow. That's unbelievable. And now it really feels like he's like tick, 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 ticking across the floor. Hey, look, we got a PlayStation 3 console. New artifact, nice HD graphics. You guys, the PlayStation interact. Oh, yo! In mint condition, so I can like open it. Yeah, that's cool. You can zoom in. Wow, that is so cool. This is legit, guys. The haptics and the adaptive triggers <clears throat> are everything I imagined they'd be. Like, to be able to experience that hands-on is surreal. It is so freaking cool, guys. Like, I don't think you understand how absolutely amazing it actually is. I guess I didn't get all the puzzle pieces. PlayStation Labo? What is this? We can go see our, our collection. Well... I think... Hold on here. Hey, look. The PlayStation. The PlayStation 3. That's so cool, man. PS3. All right. Well, man. Again, the haptics and the adaptive triggers, they feel so, so good. So legit. Um, Oh, what is this? Oh. Oh, that... Okay. Oh, wow. All right. That was actually really cool. Can we do that again? The way the way I'm feeling it in the adaptive triggers is like absolutely insane. 
I, I, my only concern is I hope like I hope there's no like problems with the ad adaptive triggers. I don't have enough. That felt so cool. All right. Well, again, adaptive triggers, literally everything that you would hope they'd be. Oh, look, there's more coins here. Uh, everything you'd hope they'd be, uh, haptic feedbacks, adaptive triggers. It is really actually legit. It's it's insane. It feels crazy. I can't wait to experience it in other games. Um, so that's kind of my first impressions on the DualSense controller. Again, as I'm walking here, it's very subtle tick, 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 tick that I'm feeling in the controller. It actually feels like I'm walking around like it, be, between your, your connection, between your, your sight and your uh, sense of touch. Those combined makes you feel in this like if more immersive. It makes you feel... It gives you the illusion, basically. I don't know if it's an illusion. I don't know if that's the right word, but it gives you the impression, illusion, that you're really feeling this, that you're actually like, I don't know. Like, listen. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's like tick, 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 ticking. It's cool. I love it. I love the controller. I love this game. It's built into every uh, console. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Again, um, Watching videos like this doesn't do it justice. I can't wait for you guys to get hands-on. If you have got hands-on with the DualSense in a PlayStation 5 game, let me know what you guys thought of the adaptive triggers and the uh, feed, uh, haptic feedbacks because to me, it's extremely impressive. And like I said, I can't wait to experience it in other games. So keep a log on the channel. We're going to be starting our Let's Plays for different games like Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Call of Duty, Black Ops, Cold War. Uh, we're also going to have gameplay for you know multiplayer and zombies, stuff like that as well for that. Uh, different things like that. So keep it locked on the channel. I'll see you guys very soon. Another one. Stay safe. Stay well. And if you missed my unboxing or my UI walkthrough, definitely go check that out. And until the next one, friends, game on.